Hi guys, it's Pete here with the Rollover Dev Team. I saw a request today on the Wix forum. It was, how do I make a slide out like that? Now, it can be done with Rollover, and I'm going to demonstrate just how. So, the first thing we need to do is look at the size of the iframe that it's going into. That there says 270 by 320. So, I'm going to very just, oh, just going to quickly copy the bits I need. This element here for the start state. I'm going to stick that in Photoshop, cancel, place real quick. Doesn't have to be perfect for this tutorial. Like the perfectionist in me says, I've got to lose this line here. And up here, but that's fine. Okay, so now we've got what looks like a start. It could be the start image. Let's save it as transparency. Um, desktop arrow. And then for the end state, I'm going to take a screenshot I just took a minute ago, place it in there like that. Just going to tidy that up a little bit. Whatever. Um, okay, so now we've got a save for web. Two potential images. Now, I'm going to go over to uh, my Wix web page and I'm going to add uh, rollover to the page. And now, to get that slider effect, I'm going to use the slide tool. Start image is going to be. Let's upload some first. Uh, where's it gone? This one, and I'm going to end that. Add that one as well. So that's my start state. Fix the opacity on that. Something is opaque. Hang on, never get it right. Uh, oh yeah. Um, so that's that. And then the end state, when we're doing, choose an image. This one. So now, once I set the dimensions to be the right one, 270, 321. Okay, you can see here, that's my little tab arrow thing, and that slides out like that. Now, let's just add the background image, upload an image, screenshot I took a minute ago. Done, great. Here's the background. Okay, cool. Just going to make this a bit. Mm, no, I don't need to do that just now. Okay, so here's my rollover. Okay. But it's not where I want it. Now, I want to use the pin to screen function. Now, to do that, what I need to do is attach rollover to a box. Make this the right size. Attach it to the box. <coughs> Make this smaller, change the design. OK, 
Okay, now I'm going to pin this to the screen like this. Okay, it's the picture from earlier. What am I doing? Pin to screen. So now, I ignore that a little bit because that's just on my screenshot. Compare that with the Wix one. You actually have to click that, so it's more of a pain. And this template. There you go. So quick and dirty tutorial about how to do that. If you got any questions? Uh, Q 